Hi, my name is Leslie Rickey and today I'm going to talk about new virtual prototyping methods that can help orthopedic device companies achieve more realistic and accurate understanding of joint replacement or implant performance and how these methods also help reduce development cost. The cost of orthopedic implants is rising. Product development including physical prototyping and testing is expensive and difficult. More importantly, there is also an ongoing challenge and interest in understanding healthy motion and optimizing implants for varying types of patients. This leaves a great deal of potential for innovation, especially in the area of biomechanics performance simulation. By adopting the latest virtual prototyping methods and tools, manufacturers can gain a huge competitive advantage. For instance, orthopedic implant manufacturers are performing virtual prototyping to try and minimize the cost of physical testing. Finite element analysis, for example, is performed on hip, knee, shoulder, and spinal implants. Series of stress analyses are done on the implants and or surrounding bone to examine high stress areas. This valuable information can then be used for further analyses to study the strength, durability, and wear of the implant. However, today's methods present some limitations. First, the requirements to run finite element analysis, or FEA, include modeling the parts and the environment in which the parts will operate, which is very time consuming. Second, FEA by itself falls short in doing a thorough job of telling the engineers what the boundary conditions are and how to load the device properly to ensure that it is accurate and aligned with what is seen in clinical trials. Third, once modeling is complete, a lot of time is spent on analysis, especially when using quasi-static analysis methods to step through simulation in increments to run new simulations. Fourth, once FEA is done, physical prototypes still need to be created in the laboratory in order to look at kinematic and dynamic performance. The average total time for the whole process can take one and a half years, especially when four to five physical iterations need to be done. New virtual prototyping methods and tools have been developed and are being used to reduce the number of design iterations by replicating the in vitro test done in the laboratory within a virtual simulation environment that produces the same results as the test laboratory. Once in vitro simulation is modeled and validated, in vivo simulations can be run within the virtual environment to replicate real life events such as climbing stairs, sitting, standing, jumping, and other physically demanding activities. The end result is the ability to assess the implant's performance in real world simulations. Tools like Life Modeler, which leverages MSC software's Atoms, Multibody Dynamics Modeler and Solver, helps you to simulate the entire musculoskeletal kinematic and biomechanics performance. Using biomechanics simulations, you can examine strength and durability and then export the realistic loads and boundary conditions to the FEA and perform system level simulations using tools like MSC software's MARC and MD Nastram. Working in a common tool set and transferring loads effectively between FEA and biomechanics streamlines the process and gives engineers accurate results faster than traditional methods of test. It unites the best aspects of both methods to minimize computational complexity and expand the scope of multibody dynamics. It will assess important nonlinearities such as polyethylene and cement loads to evaluate how materials are behaving or device components interact with bones such as the tibia. FEA technology and multi-body dynamic simulation can be integrated simultaneously for optimal feedback to engineers. This allows dynamic boundary conditions and loads to be automatically transferred to the FEA model and small changes in their impact on the dynamics performance, such as the biomechanical range of motion or performance of the device inside the body, to be assessed. The end result is a fully integrated simulation solution in which engineers visualize full body gait models and witness how loads are being applied. With these methods, manufacturers can more accurately understand device performance. For example, can the device design or analysis be applied to a 90th percentile male? 
By undertaking studies on various groups of anatomical models within a virtual environment, engineers can obtain better answers related to device performance and optimize designs to fit many populations of people who range in size, shape, and weight. Thank you very much for watching. If you'd like to learn more about virtual prototyping for orthopedic implants or solutions for the biomedical industry in general, go to msccsoftware.com.